Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Yes, if well, you can't see, but outside it's snowing. And that's not an April Fool's joke. It's the 1st of April and it's absolutely freezing. A week ago we had 22 degrees centigrade and now we have minus 2. That's a difference of 24 degrees in my book, which is far too much. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's snowing outside and it's disgusting. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're well and enjoying yourself. We're having an evening of requests this evening and we're celebrating a very important anniversary. Mr. Scott Joplin died exactly 100 years ago today. Nobody really knows when he was born. There was a great mystery about his date of birth, but we do know that he died on the 1st of April 1922, exactly 100 years ago. Mrs. Gartrow, you said something about a request. <gasps> Eva! Oh, no. Das machen wir jetzt, ansonsten schläfst du ein. Das weiß ich, ja. Okay. Das ist dann für die liebe Eva. Eva Fellner, Eva im Norden. Eva liegt zu Hause krank, das tut mir sehr leid, gute Besserung. Ähm, und äh, hat sich gewünscht, unser Lieblingslied aus dem Gotteslob, ein altes deutsches Lied, Großer Gott, wir loben dich. Wie viele Strophen, Eva? Wie viele Strophen? Zwei Strophen, drei Strophen, drei Strophen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here this evening. We have a wonderful audience. I spotted my old friend Lou Williams in the audience. Lou Williams. I don't think it's snowing in Arizona, is it, Lou? I can't imagine it is. So, yes. So, um, next time you're over in Europe, uh, make sure you come at a snowy time and we'll have some snowball fights together. Lou, let's do that. Okay, so this is for Eva then. This is Großer Gott, wir loben dich. Drei Strophen? I'll play around. I'll do an improvisation. I'll play around with it. We're on Nancy Cathedral tonight, by the way, the big French one.
Isn't that over the top? Isn't that wonderful? Ah, that was for Eva. Eva, das war für dich. Ich hoffe, es geht dir bald besser. Temptation für Alexander, habe ich schon gesehen. Alexander, kriegen wir hin. Kriegen wir hin. Kriegen wir hin. Aber nicht, oh mein Gott, nicht an dieser Orgel. Oh boy, oh boy. Now then, what's this? What's this? It's a piece of paper. Alles klar. What is that? All right, let's do that later. Thank you very much for your spontaneous request. Spontaneously found in the internet, printed out on a piece of dead tree and passed over to dead me. Now, I've, I've received quite a lot of requests for this, for this evening, but I've also had requests from the past weeks as well that we're working our way through slowly but surely. Um, and tonight, tonight I'm doing the easy ones or the easy-ish ones. Now, this is a request I received and it's not the kind of piece of music you should play on a French cathedral organ, but... Why not? Why not? This was a request by our friend Ken. And Ken is, is Ken here tonight? Ken Molden. Is Ken Molden no, here tonight? Yeah. Ken is here. Hooray, Ken is here. This is for Ken. And this, I'm going to play around with it and hide it. So I hope you don't, I hope you can't read what I'm doing on the music there. You probably can read it. Actually. Ach ja. Von Mary Poppins. Ooh. French Atlantic, Das wäre nicht so schlecht, weil ich weiß nicht, wie der Mittelteil geht. Ah, Moment, habe ich in meine Downloads. Guck mal, in den Downloads. Das haben wir bei unserem Musicalabend gemacht oder Filmabend sogar. Das findest du. Geh mal auf Finder. Wenn du jetzt fertig getippt hast. Ah, wunderbar. This is all very spontaneous, as you can see. We love spontaneity. Oh, I have to do it. All right, okay. La, 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 la. I don't have any chaos in my computer. Oh, wow. I know where everything is on my computer. I don't know where anything is in my office, but I know where everything is in my computer. There you are. See, found it immediately. So, there you go. Das darfst du ausdrücken. Dankeschön. What were we going to do? I was going to do this for Ken. Yes, that's right. See if you can work out what it is without cheating and looking at the music. Mrs. Garch was having one of those cat moments. You know the mo you know that lovely GIF thing of the cat playing at the computer. She's having one of those moments tonight. <laughs> yes, that's true. You are very good at it, but sometimes she has one of those cat moments.
Wow, what a piece of music. That's, uh, I don't think anyone's ever played that on a French cathedral organ before. And if they haven't, they bloody well should. That was, of course, MacArthur Park, Jimmy Webb's wonderful MacArthur Park. And um, I think it's probably the only piece of music I know that was somebody's really miffed about leaving a cake out in the rain that he baked. I think that's what it is, isn't it? There's something about leaving a cake out in the rain. Where is it? MacArthur Park is melting through the dark. All the sweet green... What, what, what? I can't even read that. It's so tiny. I have no idea what that says. What the hell does that say? Someone left the... There it is. Someone left the cake out in the rain. I don't think that I can take it. I wonder what he was taking when he did think about this. Because it took too long to bake it, and I'll never have that recipe again. There you are. Bizarre stuff indeed, but a wonderful, wonderful piece of music. That was Ken Molden's request this evening, and I think that's a wonderful piece of music, and it deserves to be played a lot more. Don't you? So I hope I did it justice, and when you've got a cathedral organ like this at hand, then you can go completely crazy. Yes, Mrs. Garcho, we have more requests. Can I ask you, Joe, you was MacArthur Park? That was MacArthur Park, yeah, yes. Okay, yeah. yes. Uh, Joe was guessing it was MacArthur Park. Well done, Joe. Well spotted. Uh, <sighs> Nicht das Eva müde. We're doing a lot for Eva tonight, aren't we? But that's good, because Eva was looking after her dad for a long time as well. Yeah. Don't forget. Just checking the camera. For Ingo. For Ingo. Ooh, alles klar. Right then. Eva. Liebe kleine Eva. Darf ich das sagen? Eva. Wie alt ist Eva eigentlich? Nein. Nicht so alt? Neun, glaube ich. Neun, glaube ich. Ich glaube neun. Stimmt das, dass du neun bist? Wow. Toll, dass du so spät noch wach bist. Aber wenn du krank bist, darfst du wach bleiben. Das stimmt natürlich. Eva hat sich was Tolles gewünscht von dem Film oder von dem Musical Mary Poppins. Und das haben wir vor ein paar Wochen gespielt, aber du warst bestimmt schon längst schlafen. Um, when trying to express oneself, it's frankly quite absurd to leaf through lengthy lexicons to find the perfect word. Ich weiß leider nicht, wie das Stück geht auf Deutsch, aber so fängt es auf Englisch an. Das ist ein sehr lustiges Stück, das kennen wir alle. Wenn ihr es kennt, singt bitte mit.
Super color frangilistic, it's been a little shus. And I think in German it's called Supercarder Flagelistisch Xpi Allidorisch. No, 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 it's not that at all. What is it in German? Who knows the German word? Supercarder Flagelistisch Xpi Allidorisch. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Uh, if you say it loud enough, you always sound precocious. Alle zusammen. Supercarder Flagelistisch Xpi Allidorisch. Anyway, there you are. Wow. That was for Eva. Eva, that's was for dich. Eva is 10, fast 11, habe ich gerade gelernt. Wenn du krank bist, darfst du länger aufbleiben. Das finde ich toll. Wenn du krank bist, darfst du länger aufbleiben. Darf ich das auch? Wieso darfst du das auch? Wenn ich krank bin, darf ich auch länger aufbleiben. Wenn du krank bist, dann bin ich Vollzeit beschäftigt. Ne? Also Ach so, <lacht> Vanessa sagt im Hintergrund, wenn ich krank bin, ist sie Vollzeit beschäftigt. Das stimmt ja. nicht. In unserem Haushalt ist es genau umgekehrt. <lacht> Wenn ich krank bin, merkt man es gar nicht. Wenn sie krank ist, ist Ende der Welt. Das behalten wir. Sehr schön. Right then. We're on the subject of weird and wonderful music this evening. And one of the weirdest and most wonderful pieces of music we've ever had is this. <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking sort of glam rock here. And um, it's one of the weirdest pieces ever. And I doubt, like... Like MacArthur Park, I doubt it has ever been played on anything even vaguely close to a cathedral organ before. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful, bizarre piece of music, and I think you might enjoy it. It starts with a wonderful flourish and then turns into something rather mysterious. See if you know what it is. This is for Gleiswanderer. <laughs>
I just love that. That's again one of the most bizarre pieces of music ever. Who got it right? Who got it right? Handel's Passacaglia. Wrong, Joe. It was, it was not Handel's. It was a kind of Passacaglia, though, for getting it right. You're quite right there. Heard this on The Simpsons. Nancy got it right. In a gada da vida. In the most, and and um, they sang it in the most bizarre way, like they just came from some sort of English pronunciation or enunciation lessons. Very received pronunciation. In a gada da vida. Uh, they pronounced it very, very weird indeed. I beg your pardon? Yeah. In a gada da vida. Look, look, it says it there on the page. Ah, Mrs. Garcho. A wonderfully strange piece of music indeed. Wonderfully strange piece of music indeed. Yes, who got it right then? In Agada La Vida. That was exactly right. Who wrote it there? The Doors. No, that wasn't The Doors. Uh, anyone got it right? Is that it? Just Nancy? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Iron Butterfly. There we are. Gerald got it right. Gerald Long. Iron Butterfly. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Right then. Now, what's it? Oh, hold on. We had another request here, didn't we? I'm working through my program of goodies, and we will get to that. Who requested Zink to dem Herrn alle Völker und Rassen? Who was that? I am only just in. Ich war da ein bisschen beschäftigt. Oh, Mrs. Gaucho ist beschäftigt. Yeah. Wer war das? Was noch mal? Da, da. Zink to dem Herrn alle Völker und Rassen. Das, das weißt du nicht mehr? Mrs. Gaucho. Ich rufe das einfach nur alles. Oh no, where was that then? Can you go back and look and see if you can find it again? Okay, right. Okay, somebody <laughs> earlier this evening requested a piece of music, a hymn that I really don't know. Um, so let's see what it sounds like. Singt dem Herrn alle Völker und Rassen. Sing to the Lord, all people and all races. Gosh, it's very old-fashioned. Um, let's see if we can work it out then. Don't know it, let's work it out.
There you are. Turn a modern happy clappy hymn into a piece of piece of sort of almost heavy metal at the organ as well. Isn't that great? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Thank you for requesting that, whoever you were. <gasps> this is for Ingo. Yes. This is for Ingo. Ooh. In Hamburg sagt man Tschüss. Das sagt man überall in Deutschland. Ist das ein Lied jetzt oder was? Das ist ein Lied für? für oh mein Gott, oh mein Gott, that looks like an entire choir. Ja. What? Habe ich gefunden für dich, das schön oder nicht? Ingo, Ingo. Wir gehen jetzt vom Norddeutschland ganz weit unten in den Süden, in den Süden von Deutschland und kommen am Bodensee an und er heißt auch, wie heißt er nochmal, unser Bodensee? Bodenseehorn, Bodenseehorn. Und Ingo ist nicht nur ein toller Kerl, Ingo ist auch ein begnadeter Alphornspieler. Ja. Und wir haben sogar ein Beispiel von seinen Künsten. Ja. Aber das kriegen wir technisch nicht hin, dass wir das vorspielen, oder? Weiß ich nicht, wie das geht. Ich weiß ich nicht, wie das geht. Hm. Wir müssen mal gucken. Vielleicht schaffen wir das bis Sonntag. Ingo hat... Zu Vanessas Geburtstag, war letzten Sonntag war es Vanessas Geburtstag, nicht vergessen. Und Ingo hat ein Stück von seinem Alphorn-Trio gespielt, die Vanessa erst heute in den E-Mails gesehen hat. Nee, ich hatte, nein, das stimmt, Ach, nein? ich habe das gesehen, aber ich hatte an dem Tag schon vor Kai zu antworten. Ich, oh. e ich gucke nur einmal die Woche in die E-Mails rein. Ach so, ja. wir gucken nur einmal in, in der Woche ja, in die E-Mails e rein. Und äh, alles klar, Ingo. Tut uns leid, dass wir noch bis jetzt... Ach, du hast schon geantwortet. Das ist sehr schön. Okay, sehr schön. Ingo hat sich was gewünscht aus der Genre der Filmmusik. Ich glaube, ihr kennt das. Hast du was vom Hummelflug?
yes, yes, yes. Is it playable on guitar? It is playable on guitar. It should be played on guitar. It's in the right key for a guitar. The lowest note on a normal guitar is a bottom E. And the melody is in E. So there you are. Viv. That's the way it works. That should be played on guitar, obviously. There you are. That was for Ingo down in the south of Germany. Um, I have another arrangement of that somewhere with all the fun bits as well, properly sort of written out arrangement. But I think that was, that was easily, uh, easily noticeable. Now, we're going to change organs briefly. And we're going to change to something a bit more Something a bit more Lou Williams. Lou, are you still with us? Are you still watching? If you are, then this is definitely more your kind of thing. And it's April, which means I have to play two pieces of music. Um, I have to play two pieces of music, both with the title April, both with the, the word, sorry, April in their title. The first one is perfect for the weather outside, although it's not rain showers, it's snow showers in this case. April showers on the Wurlitzer organ. Get ready for this. Hello. That was April Showers. I've been playing around with this instrument in the last few days and I've managed to get some of my special effects set up. For example, a cymbal. For example, a bell, which is rather cute. It does bell things. And I recently discovered it has a gong, which is great fun as well. Right, now. Vanessa is talking to me in the background. 
And she is saying, by the way, have you seen Vanessa's channel? Vanessa now has a YouTube channel. Vanessa presents herself to the world in a gardening yeah. channel, a German gardening channel. So it's all in German, but YouTube will do automatic English subtitles, apparently. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I strongly suggest you do. You will have a great, uh, you will have lots of fun doing it. Um, have you linked your channel to everybody? Everybody in the chat so that everyone can see what you're doing? Ah, we'll do it later then, we'll do it later. Now, we have a few photos to show you this evening. Was hast du schon gemacht? Garcho's Garden. There it is, Garcho's Garden. And there's a link. You have Garcho's Garden without a space and then the link, but never mind. It's okay, it's okay. People can still click on it. People can still... Uh, Colin, yes, is the answer. Uh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, let it snow, let it snow. We had that right at the beginning, Elvis Presley. So go and, when, you finish, when we finish, go back and check out the beginning. We started with, with, um, with that, yeah. So, where were we? Uh, yes, photo time, photo time. We've had quite a lot of photos recently. Actually, before we do photos, uh, is Rodi here tonight? Yeah. Rodi is here tonight. Robert, dein Paket ist endlich angekommen. Dun, 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 dun. This is rather wonderful. We had, we had something rather wonderful recently. Ro D, that's Robert, our friend Robert from Munich, was trying to send us some gifts, trying to send us a parcel. And um, we don't give out a private address for obvious reasons, but we do have a post office box address. Um, and you can't send parcels to it, at least not very well, but the people in the post office, they know us and they will take parcels for us. So by the time the postie worked that one out, that was fine. And Robert sent us mugs, some rather beautiful mugs, two mugs, one for Vanessa, one for me. Herzliche Grüße aus München. Lovely greetings or greetings from Munich. And there's a picture of an organ on it as well. Ich kann's nicht gut, aber laut. I can't do it very well, but I can do it loudly, is roughly what Rodi is saying there. And Rodi, if you haven't checked out his channel, then please do. It's just R-O-D-I, Rodi. He's in the chat this evening, so go and, uh, there he is, in green, with lots of lovely smileys. Thank you, Rodi. Uh, go and check out his channel and see what he's up to. And he wrote us a rather nice message as well. We should have had, why haven't you got tea in these mugs? We could have had a cup of tea during this. And we got your message, and Rodi has one of the most beautiful one of the most beautiful signatures I've ever seen. Very nice handwriting. So, there we are. So, thank you, Robert. Darf ich? Don't let them... Okay, there we go. So, that was Rodi and his delightful mugs. Thank you very much indeed. Now, on the subject of mugs, we have quite a few Garcho Gang mugs that appeared in recent times. Um, who shall we start with? Who shall we start with? Uh, How about Johannes? Johannes? Okay, this is Johannes. Johannes Hannes is Hobby. Hannes Hobby? Mm. Hannes Hobby. Is, is Hannes Hobby here tonight? Yeah. Of course, Hannes. Yes, of course you are. Johannes, Johannes, danke für dein Bild. Johannes, uh, Johannes, I'm trying to speak two languages at once. That's not going to work. Johannes sent us a picture of, with, of himself with his Garcho Gang mug. Three, two, one. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's already on. Oh. Oh, Mrs. Gaucho. There we are. That's Johannes. That's Johannes with his Gaucho Gang mug. Thank you very much indeed for sending us that, um, Johannes. And there is a request, or maybe even two, coming up for you later this evening. Deine Sonderwünsche kriegen wir auch hin heute Abend. Noch eins? Noch eins. There's another picture. And this. Yes, but this time you have to see if you can guess who this is. You might recognize the organ, you might recognize the background scenery. Let's see if you work it out. Three, two, one, picture. Whose is this? This was sent to, this is a, this is a very, very old member of the Gartro gang. And I don't mean old by age, I mean old by membership, if you know what I mean. And this guy is a very prolific provider of organ music content here on YouTube. In fact, He's very good at giving the secrets of organ playing away. Does that tell you who it is? Yes, that was our very own Vidas Pinkevichus. And Vidas has been a regular on the channel. We've played a couple of his pieces recently, specially composed, one specially composed for Vanessa for her birthday, and one also specially composed for me, which was very kind. And we featured them recently on the channel. So thank you, Vidas, for that. That was rather good fun indeed. Right, now. 
while we were doing our Aprils, <laughs> uh, it wasn't Rien, it was Vidas. Yes, who got it right? Jerry got it right. Of course, Jerry got it right. Gleiswanderer got it right. Who else got it right? Graham got it right. Well done, everybody. Yes, so there you are. Second piece of music with April in the title is, of course, April in Paris. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Would we like April in Paris? She's not listening. Would we like April? Uh, uh, I can't speak. April in Paris? Oh. The enthusiasm in Mrs. Gaucho's voice this evening is quite something. Ladies and gentlemen, April in Paris. Not the Count Basie version, the Fraser Gaucho version. through two choruses of April in Paris on the rather delicious, the rather wonderful and delicious Wurlitzer well, Theatre virtual pipe organ. Isn't that wonderful? Right, let's get rid of that little lot and get back to our requests for this evening. Now, what was that? Oh, we've done that. We've done that. Yes. Now, 
JW is the next one. So that's for Johannes. Johannes, das ist jetzt für dich. This is something I didn't know and still don't really know, but it's rather nice actually. Last week and Vanessa's birthday, during Vanessa's birthday concert, I played a couple of pieces of music by, I don't know, what's he called? Suzuki Subaru or something? What was his name? What, who did I play? Y y y y y y what? Yeruma and Jan Tiersen. These are people I have no idea who they are, but they, but but they do sort of they do cheesy film music, which is very nice. And someone else who does cheesy film music, wait for it, is <clears throat> I've got to be very careful how I say this. Annette Fox, F O C F O C K S. So be very careful how you say that. Annette Fox. And this is the film music, the title music from a film that I don't know. And I will probably go and find it at some point. And um, it's very, very nice indeed. And this was requested by Johannes. And I'm waiting for the organ to load. But moving from, we've just been in France, in Nancy. We were across the pond in America on a Wurlitzer. And now we are in Italy, in the beautiful city of Alessandria on their three manual Mascioni organ, which is very delightful and takes forever to load for some reason. Come on, come on, up, up, up. There it is. And uh, yes, this is a rather, del let me check I'm on the right registrations. Yes, I am. And I think we can start. I think we can start. Yeah, we'll start there. That's quite nice. Actually, no, we won't. We will start at the end. I beg your pardon. Who's saying that? Uh, Ingo. Ingo? Ich liebe Schokolade, aber ich liebe auch Lakritz zum Glück. Gibt's das auch zusammen? Was ist das? Bäh. Was ist das denn? Bäh. Ich nicht. Chocolate with licorice together. That sounds quite horrid. Licorice. My mum always said licorice gives you a good run for your money. Hey, hey. Anyway. <clears throat> so here we are. This is um, film music from a film called, I'm guessing it's a German film. I don't know. It's called Die Wilden Hühner und Die Liebe, which translates either as the wild chickens and love or let's just say the wild birds and love. And it's rather cute and it sounds something like uh, this. This is for Johannes, JW.
I'm willing to bet that's something you've never heard before. I certainly haven't, and I rather like it. So thank you for that suggestion, Johannes. That's something rather lovely. Now, earlier on this evening, I mentioned it is Scott Joplin's, Scott Joplin's 100th anniversary of his death. He died uh, exactly 100 years ago today. And, yes, here we go. And I have got a couple of pieces of music by Scott Joplin. Actually, I've got three, four pieces of ragtime music for this evening. Now, hold on, we don't need that. Four pieces of ragtime music this evening. Two of them by Scott Joplin. One of them by a guy called Henry Lodge. And another one by a guy called Claude Debussy. Hmm. Yes, Claude Debussy also wrote ragtime music, believe it or not. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the wonderful... Pineapple Rag by Scott Joplin. Hold on to your hats, it's fun. Pineapple rag. What a wonderful, fun piece of music. <sighs> it's not impossible to play anything on the organ. There you are, work that one out grammatically. It's just not impossible. Right then. That has to be practiced. Ah, okay. That has to be practiced. Das, das muss ich leider üben. Das muss ich leider üben. Okay, 
a piece of music that is going to be copyright claimed, but I'm going to play it anyway. I'm going to play it anyway because it was requested by our friend Alexander Heitger. Alexander, wie geht's dir? Lange nicht gesehen. Uh, Alexander loves this piece of music called the Temptation Rag. Temptation Rag. Perfect for this time of Lent. <laughs> how does it go? Uh, yes, how does it start though? What key is it in? Oh God, I can't remember. Um, I haven't played this for ages. Uh, yeah, C minor. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The Temptation Rag for Alexander. That's one of those pieces if you haven't played for a while your brain goes click and forgets but uh, once you get into it we're running ha that was the temptation rag for alex <laughs> for venus <laughs> oh my god all right we'll do that we'll do that in a little bit then oh my goodness that's quite something now then I said I had more ragtime music, didn't I? So let's let's soften things up a little bit. And I think, yeah, let's do this. Let's do, uh, let's, yeah, let's do, uh, let's do that. That sounds good. Um, okay, um, here's a piece of music by French, composer Debussy, Claude Debussy, who wrote pieces of music in the most wonderful keys in the world, 
This piece is in E flat and modulates to G flat, which means lots of black notes. Mm. And I hope I can get, I've never actually played this in the organ before, but it was a request by our friend Razbaz, Marco. And Marco requested a piece of music that is politically incorrect these days. Um, I'll just call it the GC, if you know what I mean. And back in the days of ragtime, um, Debussy was absolutely mad for this kind of music. He loved jazz music, and you can definitely hear the influences here in this piece of music. It's from his suite, The Children's Corner, and it's a dance. There we are. I'll put it like that. It's a dance for a little children's toy. There you are. No, I'm not going to say any more than that because it's politically incorrect, and I'll probably be banned from YouTube for even saying its title, but here it is. The ha 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 ha. You can have the hand off. 
Wie viele Sachen haben wir noch? Ein paar. Ja, ne? Ein also paar. Mehr, we'll get to that. I don't think we're going to get through everything tonight, but that was Marcus's, in other words, Rasbaz's Debussy request. And that works rather nicely on the organ, doesn't it? Sounds rather cute. Rodi? Was? Katzenfutter? Katzenfutter? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, ich habe Maria breiten Mantel auf und die Klimaschutz Okay, we've got, we've got, <laughs> we've got a lot to get through. Don't forget, Sunday night is organ music night as well, and we will definitely bring you some requests. Now, aber, aber, das ist von unserem Major. Okay. Ich weiß nicht, ob du es kennst. Can I do it on Sunday? Erstmal mit Deutsch zu gucken, ob du es kennst. Ich, dann gib's mal, ich gucke. Ja, natürlich kenne ich das. Ja? Yes, natürlich kenne ich das. Falsche Tonart, aber natürlich kenne ich das. Wie ist eine falsche Tonart? Ist eigentlich ein A-Dur, nicht ein C-Dur. Aber egal. Okay, gut. Don't worry. Ursa, das machen wir mal. Heute noch nicht. Right. Yes, thank you. Yes, all right. More, no more requests for this evening, please. We're running out of time. Um, we're running out of time. Um, Sunday night. So we'll save all this for Sunday night. So Vanessa is going to be writing all this down. We're saving it for Sunday night. So Sunday night will be some requests as well. Now, I've had a request for a piece of music. This is wonderful. This is amazing. This is something Icelandic. I bet you've never heard Icelandic music before. I certainly haven't. And Kristin Peturson requested or sent me, actually, this piece of music. I'm not even going to try it pronouncing it. It's a very beautiful piece of music, actually. And this is an arrangement he sent, he sent me, Christine, spelt with two N's. Is, it's like Christian, I suppose. So it's the male version of Christine. So Christine, Christian, Christine, uh, Peter's son. So we know that Christine's father's, na uh, father's name is Peter. Yeah, we know that. Anyway, right. Anyway, um, I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce it, but it's, it's a hymn of some description. And it's something rather beautiful, rather beautiful indeed, uh, from Iceland. And if you're interested in Iceland and Icelandic music, then go and check out. I think Christine, yes, there he is, he's there. Christine is here this evening. Go and check out his channel himself. He is the most amazing, it's just what you imagine an Icelandic guy would be. He will drive you around Iceland in four by fours, show you volcanoes and glaciers and, and dangerous and exciting things. Um, yeah, go and check him out. It's absolutely wonderful. This then is his piece of music. Um, actually, Christine, if you, can you sort of tell me in simple terms how to pronounce this? And then I'll try it afterwards. It's very cute and it sounds something like this.
that's something very different, isn't it? But rather beautiful indeed. Rather beautiful indeed. Do we have a description of how to pronounce it? Okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> uh, how do we work that out? Okay, so it's pronounced something rather cute, rather beautiful anyway. Rather beautiful indeed. Now, something that's been requested for weeks now, and we have to play it, and we need a fancy organ for it, and I think we definitely need this organ for it because it's so wonderful. Our friend over in New York, Mr. Colin Charmley, young Mr. Colin Charmley, has been requesting this piece of music for some weeks. Now, it's almost impossible to play on the organ, but I'm going to try it anyway. It's by, by the way, the link there was quite good actually. We've, we've been in Iceland and we're now heading sort of across the North Sea a little bit to another country, linking back to Scotland, believe it or not. This composer's grandmother came from Aberdeen. Mm. Lots of concentration there. That's a sort of arrangement then of In the Hall of the Mountain King. I hope you like my sort of Nordic link there. Hi, hi, hi. Now, we have a lot of requests from our friend Alexander Wunderlich. Hi. And Alexander, Alexander requests things that need practice. <laughs> Alexander, ganz schnell, deine Wünsche brauchen Übung. Und ich habe jetzt eine Liste von Sachen von dir und die werden wir nach und nach bearbeiten und auch üben. Ich muss sie üben. Und äh, 
da sitzt jemand, der mich äh, gerne vom Üben ja, abhält, weil wir immer für verschiedene Projekte, es stimmt aber, wir haben viele Projekte momentan und Zeit zu finden zum Üben ist, ist rar. Aber ich sitze dran ja, und wir, wir, wir machen, wir, wir, ich bin fast da bei zwei von deinen Stücken. Also wir werden das auf jeden Fall machen. So, ähm, Wolfgang König, wir haben auch von dir. Ja, aber warte mal, ich habe sogar gerade von Wolfgang König ein Bild bekommen und vielleicht können wir das einblenden heute, weil ich grüße die Gartogänger mit als groß, dass wir es das heute nicht machen. Okay. Ich warte eigentlich gerade nur noch auf seinen Go-Robber. Okay, haben wir es noch nicht? Äh, nicht direkt. Nicht direkt? Das Bild haben wir noch nicht Doch, direkt, oder was? Aber wir dürfen es noch nicht zeigen. Nicht. Wolfgang, dürfen wir dein Bild zeigen? This is very interesting tonight. I, we're doing lots of requests here. Um, and well, I was saying that some of the requests that people have been requesting require rather a lot of practice on my part. And finding the time to do the practice is kind of difficult because... Because, 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 because of the wonderful things she does. Now, we have a lot more requests to get through, and we will get through them. Um, and we are waiting, apparently, for something from Wolfgang König. Permission, permission to uh, show a picture, apparently. I beg your pardon, the, the largest what? The largest oh, Easter Schokolade. bunny in the world? Oh, it's the largest chocolate Easter bunny in the world. Yeah, come on, let's show. Let's I don't know if that's the world, but that's what Dings sent. That's the Klimaschützer. Ach, that's the Klimaschützer. Oh. Eddie! And where have you found that? Wow. Cool, eh? Huge. So, A huge chocolate here. Easter bunny. Yeah, there's, there's something very bizarre going on in the background this evening. I'm playing lots of music and Mrs. Yeah. Gauchor is doing yeah. weird, yeah, weird and wonderful yeah, things. Weird and wonderful things. Okay. okay, let's have a go. Three, two, one. Here's a picture. And it's a picture... Wolfgang König. That's Wolfgang König. München grüßt die Gauchor Gang. Munich welcomes the Gauchor Gang. Yeah, let's have, a, let's have a Gauchor Gang outing to Munich. And Wolfgang... You can be our guide. Yeah, cool. Ach, that's Wolfgang König. That's Wolfgang König. Okay, Wolfgang, thank you for your your semitones. Wolfgang requested a piece of music with lots of semitones, and I am practicing it, and I will be playing it. Okay. It's Scott Joplin's birth, uh, not birthday, sorry, oops, anniversary of Scott Joplin's death, don't forget. And here's another piece of Scott Joplin, this time on Alessandria. Again, this one's called Elite Syncopations, and it's rather good fun. Actually, no, I'll tell you what, let's play it on a theatre organ instead. Let's play it on a theatre organ. And this time we'll change to the Morton Theatre Organ and play uh, Elite Syncopations. Nothing if not spontaneous here in Friday Night is Organ Music Night. <sighs> spontan. Sehr spontan. Sehr spontan. I'm getting through my programme, slowly but surely. And that's half the fun of it. Now, what registrations are these? Oh, God, we don't want those. We want these. There we go. Ha ha! We have a piano, ladies and gentlemen. And we need a piano because it's ragtime music. Elite Syncopations by Scott Joplin. Listen to this.
Scott Joplin's Elite Syncopations. Ah, that's more like it. All the fun of the fair. If we're playing Scott Joplin, of course, we have to play... Hi, 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 hi. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very close to midnight. It's very close to midnight indeed. I think we need to finish off with something silly. And I think that something silly could be this. And this was our request from Mr. Huh? Mr. The Iron King. The Iron King. We know who the Iron King is. It is, of course, Mr. Reen Schalkweik. Go and check out Reen's channel. Reen desperately needs to get to 500 subscribers and then he can start community posts. So go and help out Reen get to his, um, get to his um, 500 subscribers. He can start doing community posts and then we can all start having more contact and more fun. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Friday night is organ music night with lots of your requests. Sadly, not all of your requests, but 
Sunday night is coming very soon. Sunday night is coming and there will be more of your requests. And uh, actually by Sunday there probably won't be any new new news, new news, but I am expecting, I'm still expecting, to receive our CDs. They are in production. They are almost finished. I say almost finished. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm hoping that we will get them by next week and get them sent off around the world. I'm hoping. I can't say any more than that. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Friday Night is Organ Music Night and we're going to finish with this rather cute little ragtime style piece of music. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Friday Night is Organ Music Night. Thank you for your requests. Thank you for your patience. And uh, there will be a lot more requests uh, coming at the weekend. Thank you also, of course, for your kind donations. That's always very well received. And if you haven't already, do go and check out Vanessa's garden channel. Uh, there's only two videos up there so far, but it's very exciting stuff indeed. You want to see what Vanessa looks like? She's all there to be seen on her own channel. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Good night. Thank you.